I am surrounded by heaps of laundry. Hey guys, so I don't know if I have talked about this yet. This is the problem with going so long between vlogging because I can't remember what the last thing I talked about was. But I believe I mentioned how I had a one-on-one -on -one session with one of my professors where we went over my outline and kind of talked about um, directions for the story. Oh, I did talk about this because I talked about how he mentioned it should be broken up. But one thing I wanted to stress just because it's something I'm starting to get used to but that still I have my moments. In a group setting, like in my classes or workshops, whatever, I've gotten used to talking about my writing and not being apologetic for it. As far as like not being like self-deprecating or ashamed really just about being a writer in general when I talk about or when people find out because usually I do not offer the information up front but when people find out that I write um sometimes Zach is the one who tells people I feel very weird talking about it like during the holidays or just at events like when people ask what I do or what I like to do for fun I don't know things like that and you know naturally when you say that you write people ask oh well what are you writing what have you written so it's something I'm still getting comfortable with talking about in my real life in public um, without feeling silly I guess you know feeling like a fraud I don't know and I think this is especially because it is young adult uh, fantasy I, when I am describing my world and my universe, I feel like I'm playing like make-believe and that it sounds, um, there's something in my lens. Maybe my lens are just dirty. And that I just, I don't know, I feel silly. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I just, I feel silly explaining it and like, I feel like a fraud and that uh, I'm just pretending to be a writer and that people think that my ideas are stupid or not so much just stupid but just like <laughs> I don't know <laughs> that having this huge dream is silly and is not something to be taken seriously because honestly that is the reaction that I've gotten from some family members especially in the beginning um, because I hid for a long time that I wanted to be a writer I have been writing on the side since forever like for a very long time it's been a hobby of mine but it wasn't until well sophomore year of college that I realized I would love to be a writer but it was after I graduated college that I realized that it was my dream my goal to be an, a, a writer an author but I still didn't tell anybody except for save a few people um, because I felt I don't know I felt insecure I felt like foolish to have such a big dream that not a lot of people are successful in um, and I wanted it to be close to me because then no one could make fun of me for it nobody could um, judge me when I was not successful you know all those reasons that you safeguard your hopes and dreams and you don't want to be made fun of for something that is so special and important to you um, so yeah I didn't tell people but I found that for the most part in my workshop groups I'm getting more comfortable talking about my writing and my writing ideas without feeling silly that's really how I feel silly which is stupid I should not feel that way but when it comes to like one-on-one -on -one sessions when I was talking with my professor about my outline I kind of started to feel silly again just because like that's the natural reaction I go for like when my boss asked me asked me what classes I was taking because I told her that I was taking classes Monday and Tuesday and, um, she asked me naturally oh what are you taking and you know when she asked when she found out I was writing she was like oh like what do you write and so like I started to try before and I just I felt so silly and insecure and like all I could think was oh my gosh I do not want to be having this conversation with my boss <laughs> Um, even though she's fantastic and she was like totally excited for me that I just it's something to overcome It's something to get comfortable with doing and so But my professor I had my first realization talking to him. This is somebody who gets it You know, I was starting to describe my outline and some of my ideas and I started to get that feeling of silliness and insecurity again when it came to describing um, certain rules of 
the world, like certain rules of the magic. Um, and I was like, kind of like laughing as I was describing it. And just because, I don't know, that nervous laughter, insecure laughter, whatever. Um, but he was looking at me so seriously and then, you know, he was started to offer up um, ideas or like, oh, what if this happened or is this gonna happen? And like, he was taking me so seriously. And it was the first time I had had somebody I respected do that. Um, that's a harsh thing to say. I don't mean somebody, like, there's a lot of people I respect that have taken me seriously and I appreciate that. But just someone who I view as this person above me, like a person who's established in their career and whose respect I would really admire. And I mean, he gets it. He's a writer too. He's a published author. And so having that, I don't, I just, I just wanted to share that. Like, I think that is a huge benefit of surrounding yourself with other writers is that we take each other seriously. And that feeling of feeling validated in your art Oh my, it just like, like I can just imagine once you're over that hump and that you are taken seriously as a writer, you just feel that much more secure with your writing, with your story. And hopefully when the time comes where I am putting my story out there querying, I will remember that confidence and remember that these agents, these publishers, they're gonna take me seriously. And I'm gonna have that level of confidence to be able to express my story in a serious way and it's not silly like it's fun but you know your dreams they're not silly and when you start to take them seriously other people other respectable people will too i just wanted to share my thoughts on that no real point to this video but it was just something i was thinking about and just remembering how cool it was to have that interaction and that level of respect back as a creator. It was a really cool moment and one that I hope to encompass more and feel even more secure and grow. As a creator, I hope to become more secure with what I do. Quick recap of what's going on in my life. Just folded a lot of laundry. <laughs> Very interesting stuff. Next week is finals week, I believe. Yeah, finals week, so everything is due completely terrifying. I have another 15 to 20 pages oh, hiccups to turn in tomorrow and I think I also have to turn in a reading. I don't know. I saw something in my planner. I don't know what it is but it says I have to do it for tomorrow and so I'm gonna have to look up that. Um, and I also have four critiques to do, two to finish and I was also planning on doing another beta read for Jenna tonight, but I don't know if I'm going to get to it. Ugh. Well, I better get started, huh? But don't have pity on me because I've done this to myself. I have known about these deadlines and I do this. This is what I do. So I always like to complain about it, but truthfully don't even waste having pity on me because I deserve every sleepless night of finals week. <sighs> Cause I played a lot of Sims this semester. Played a lot of Sims. All right, let's get going. Record, now it's recording. Don't do anything. Is it okay if I, you know, I put headphones? No, cause I'm just gonna remove the sound in this oh, and this. Insert, like insert. <laughs> also, Zach acts so innocent on camera, but he was throwing candy canes at me before. Playfully. And then he threw a pillow at me. No. Yes, he did. You slammed it down. I have evidence. Pillow. <laughs> just gonna throw it at me. I was giving it to you. And I per protected myself. <laughs> These candy canes came all the way from California, you know. So you treat them with respect. West Coast, best coast. Right? Two? Oh, I just stripped my shirt. 
I bet your two did. Rude. <laughs> Looks great. The start of Christmas, even <laughs> though it's like One a week till Christmas. <laughs> Branches in it. Better? No. What do you know? Better? Why do you pretend like it's fine when you know it's not fine? <laughs> Alright, but let me see from. <laughs> it's just like tipping forward. Can you try and like tip it back? Yeah, like towards the wall, yeah. Like the whole tree's kind of tip, like <laughs> the branches are like leaning forward. <laughs> Hold on. I think it looks good. Is that alright? All right, light it up. Want to turn off the lights first? Oh yeah, good call. Are you going to be able to find the outlet? Yeah. Okay. Three, two. No, no, not three, two. <laughs> Five, ten, nine. Okay. Okay, oh. <laughs> okay just go. <gasps> oh, it's beautiful. Very nice. Very nice. Now we just have to decorate it. And the fish tank gets nice and lit up. <laughs> Maybe we should have used the other outlet. That's fine. <laughs> just got in the mail. I am so excited to read this Elizabeth. I'm going to link her channel down below as well as the Goodreads for this and the Amazon link to buy it. Oh, oh my gosh, so excited. I've already done some sneak peeks of some of the poems inside and I just love it so far. Wow, I look so blue. <laughs> so I was sitting here, um, I have my final workshop session tomorrow where I submitted my chapter two, so exciting, moving forward guys, <laughs> to my on-campus class and we will be going over that tomorrow and one of my classmates is not going to be there unfortunately on the last day and so he submitted his feedback to me early, he sent me an email and this week, actually the last couple weeks even like the last month <laughs> has been pretty stressful and emotional writing wise just with actually getting a lot of feedback on my writing having all these overwhelming ideas realizing my story is bigger than i originally pictured and now with finals due this week which i have been feeling like 
not like I've lacked confidence, but just like, I guess I've just been so caught up in making my story better. I haven't really taken time to appreciate it for what it is so far. And so my classmate sent me this absolutely wonderful raving review on the chapter two I submitted and it actually made me really emotional. Like, I mean, not really emotional. I didn't bawl my eyes out, <laughs> but like I teared up and I just feel so grateful for him and for everybody in my class, especially the second class. I talked about it in my last video, how my on-campus class is so special to me and I'm going to miss them all so much. Um, and I, I like hope that <laughs> we continue to meet up somehow. Um, and I really enjoy my other class too, don't get me wrong, but just I've gotten more connected with my on-campus because I see them in person every week. And tomorrow we're actually even having, I think, wine and we're bringing a bunch of treats. So I have to figure out what I'm gonna bring. <gasps> Maybe I'll make cookies. I make some pretty good chocolate chip cookies if I do say so myself. So I think I'll bake cookies. That will be fun. Um, oh my God, how am I gonna have time to do all this? But <laughs> he just, I'm just gonna read just really quick some of the things that just really got to me. He writes, hi Haley. A funny thing happened as I was reading your excerpt. I got so into the story that I forgot I was reading a piece to be workshopped and began worrying about what supernatural forces were going to be really released by and I won't say the second part of the sentence because it's a spoiler, but that's like the best compliment when you get feedback that somebody got so lost in your story that they almost forgot like where they were and what they were supposed to be doing and they're just 100% invested. Like that, oh my God, it warmed my heart so much. Um, he writes, I've got a real page turner here and I feel the excitement and most of all the fear as John recounted, spoiler. <laughs> um, and I think the reason I was so happy with um, my classmate, his name's David, with David's feedback is because I was really worried about my chapter two and I'm still worried about it because not everyone might feel the way David felt. <sighs> Just because it is kind of stationary. So it's kind of like, I don't even want to say it's like a flashback because it's so detailed that it really takes you there. Think like, um, World War Z where they are talking to somebody about what happened to them. So it's that level and you know World War Z technically is all flashbacks and it's all um, recounting and dialogue of what happened in the past yet the way it's set up it doesn't feel that way like you feel just as invested in the action. So I'm hoping that's what comes across. I'm hoping that's how other people take it too and that it's not just like oh my god I felt like there was just, just this conversation that just went on for way too long. Just because I submitted a similar excerpt of this, because this was originally in my chapter one and I changed it. I submitted this to my other class and some of the feedback I got was like, the characters didn't move for 10 pages. They were just talking back and forth, which is very valid. Um, so I kind of stripped, oops. I kind of um, stripped back the reminders that you were in a flashback. Like I took out some of the uh, the narrator's little thoughts and inserts so that it kept you more in the moment of what was being described and I tightened it up so it's not as long. Um, so I'm hoping that that helped and I'm curious to see what my other classmates think. And I'm nervous, I'm really nervous because I really like it and I like that the, the way my story is unfolding now, I think it's just really coming together. And so if they don't like this style of what I've done, I just don't know what else I'm gonna do because <laughs> I feel like it works really well and this is the only solution I've seen. <laughs> so reading that David, my classmate, liked it and that it made him laugh and that it made him fearful and engaged. Um, that just felt really good and eased my heart. So now I'm maybe even more terrified a little bit <laughs> that it's just gonna be ripped away from me tomorrow. But no, it's the last class, so everyone's gonna be extra nice, hopefully. <laughs> Speaking of last class, I just wanna summarize really quickly what is due for this class. So you guys are about to see me hustling <laughs> in my video this week. So 
it is finals week and my final since i'm in a creative writing class consists of turning in our final works so i have my last class on campus tomorrow so everything is due so i have to turn in i think 60 pages of edited or no it was 10 to 20 pages of highly edited perfect we're gonna get graded on this it better be like publish ready work plus since i'm a graduate student i'm turning in an additional like 20 to however many he said pages we want that it won't be graded to that high level it will just be additional pages we turn in he's not going to grade it with a fine tooth comb or anything which is good um so actually that part is all done pretty much like i've written that many pages i just have to edit it like remove any, any typos go through all my notes and remove scenes there's a certain part he didn't like so i might just remove that to turn in and then maybe put it back in if i decide to <laughs> is that cheating is that like what you're not supposed to do <laughs> just you know turn it in to make him happy and then put it back in if i like it um and then what else do i have to turn in? i have to turn in a list of books movies or tv shows that my work is either influenced by or that is similar so when you send in a book to an agent or a publisher you often it's a good idea to include works that are similar to yours so that the agent can get an idea of like the audience for this and how they're going to market it. So he wants us to compile a list that can be as long as short as we want uh, and so I have to do that. I already have some ideas for that. That part's easy because I have been influenced by a lot of things and inspired by a lot of things. Um, and then what else? Oh, we have to make a list of all of the classmates that we felt their feedback was most valuable. and. I am going to be that person and I'm just going to list everybody because everybody's feedback is valuable and I'm going to include like a little excerpt of why this individual person really helped me. Um, hopefully I don't get points taken off for that but just everyone was valuable. Absolutely everyone. So sorry. And then we have to do a synopsis or an outline. I think it was or which I'm going to do, I guess it doesn't really matter because for my other class I also have to turn in a synopsis and an outline, so I'm going to have both. So I guess just whatever one I feel like turning in. He's already seen my outline, so maybe I'll do a synopsis. I don't know how to do a synopsis though. <laughs> I gotta look into that. But yeah, so that's what's due for me tomorrow. And then Thursday, I don't even remember what's due Thursday. Pretty much a similar thing. Um, we have to turn in two exercises we did, one of which was an outline, which I already have, so I'm going to turn that in. And I've done a bunch of exercises, so I'll just pick one that I thought I did well on and turn that in. have to turn in 40 pages of edited work, which I'll have had my 20 pages from my earlier class, so I can turn in that plus some additional edits. Oh. Or is it 30? I don't even know. And then a query letter, which... I'm really excited about this one. She said that we could turn it in early actually and she'll give us feedback and then we can turn it in another one Thursday and she'll give us additional feedback. So I might do that if I want two rounds. We'll see how crazy busy I am. Ugh. I kind of wanted to turn it in before today because she said we could have gone over them today but there's no way I have time to type up a query letter now. <sighs> I should have done this weekend. I'm a horrible person. What can I say? <laughs> ah. Oh my god, this week's been crazy. So. And I feel like there's something else I'm forgetting I have to turn in for that class. Thankfully, like, God bless, my final works to turn in are so similar for these classes because I would be drowning. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the beauty of being in a creative class because you can turn in, like, the same thing and get such different feedback and it's allowed. Like, it's not like an essay where you can't plagiarize yourself. Like, it's your creative work, your story, so it counts. I've just talked way too long. I apologize, but I just wanted to run through that with you guys. Also run through it myself so I know what I have to focus on. And then, of course, this week is the last week before winter break. And at my job, since I work at an academic institution, we actually get the entire week of Christmas or, well, holidays off as well. So it's my last week of work before I have a week and a half off, which is awesome. But it's like going to be an absolutely crazy, insane last week <laughs> because 
so much going on. So this week's gonna be horrible. <laughs> I like have stuff to do for work. I have stuff, oh my gosh. Help me. I'm mad at myself that I didn't turn in my query letter before because then I could have gotten two rounds of feedback. What is wrong with me? I am a self-sabotager. Don't be like me. <laughs> All right, see you in a bit. Oh, and I forgot to add, this week has been extra stressful because our refrigerator broke. So for an entire week now, we had, well, it, it got fixed this morning. It gets working now, but for an entire week, we had no refrigerator. And so all of our food, like some of it went bad. We mostly just ate a bunch. We've been eating, like living on pasta and takeout this last week, which sounds heavenly, but at the same time, like I had lost a couple pounds and there is no way I still have lost those. <laughs> and I just like, I'm sick of carbs, which I never thought I would say. <laughs> um, but thankfully today our refrigerator is back in order. It just needed to run through a pretty serious thaw. It had like really backed up with ice in the freezer and it caused the refrigerator not to work. I don't know. I don't know refrigerator mechanics. But that was another like really stressful thing. Just because I was like, great, can't go grocery shopping. Have to eat this food really quickly. <sighs> Zach, what's today's date? 20th. And what does that mean? It means. I don't know if I did Christmas. I guess. <laughs> it means that today, my last final project is due. That's what that means, Zach. Did not say. Yeah. Today is Thursday, December 20th. I have turned in one of my final projects, which I didn't film because I was a nervous wreck and also on campus during it. And then now I have this one and that is not my password. I have a lot due. I will talk to you guys about it later. But for now, let's get to work. Okay, no joke. I have to burn my new candle. Tomorrow is trash day, and I have no idea what in the world my neighbors have in their trash, but it reeks. The trash sits right outside our window on trash day, and sometimes it wafts up, especially if the weather is warmer. I thought we were out of warm weather, but it's supposed to be 60 tomorrow, and I'm, I literally smell it right now. It's disgusting. It's like we're in a dump. And I swear it's not us. We don't even have any trash out. Thank goodness this candle is so strong. So it is already after midnight. Are you surprised? Um, thankfully, our teacher said that even though it's due to, I guess yesterday now, Thursday, December 20th, that we can turn it in, you know, kind of like whenever that night. Um, oh, I look so bad. Hold on, let me fix my hair. <laughs> That's a little better. I have to give some volume because my hair like lies so flat naturally. <sighs> I just finished going through all of my critiques that have ever been given to me. Took all that in. Um, I actually am pretty much done with critique or fixing um, what I wrote. Sorry, I'm like I'm trying to think. I'm pretty much done with fixing what I wrote this semester because I had to turn it in on Tuesday for my first class. So. I have a few more critiques I want to do. I did notice a typo. Um, thankfully, it wasn't in my graded portion of what I turned in. It was just like additional pages. So fix those. Fix some um, tense is like past present because I switched tenses in a chapter. It will make sense. I'll explain more about my book later. I can't right now, but I have to fix those. So as far as what I have left to do, let's pull out my syllabus because I actually, I think I know what I have to do, but I haven't actually looked at it to make an official checklist. I know, I'm such a good student. <laughs> so our final portfolio for this class is due December 20th. That was half an hour ago. <laughs> Should include a total of four documents, a two page essay analyzing one of the young adult middle grade novels we discussed in class. So that was the one that she said we can actually just do a query letter instead. So I'll be doing my query letter. 
um, two polished chapters, approximately 30 pages. Yes, my total work is like a little over 30, so nice. With a two page cover letter. What is the cover letter? I think the cover letter is talking about what we learned and then a working synopsis of our novel. You know what? I think our syllabus has actually changed because I think I also have to include um, two writing exercises that we did. So one of them was doing an outline, which I've already done, and one of them, I don't know, I did a few of the exercises. We just have to turn one of them. It doesn't have to be perfect, she said. Just include it. <gasps> Today's the first day of winter. Aw, it's gonna be like 60 degrees. Yay, global warming. Haley, you are... something. <laughs> now, I can do this. And then once I turn this in, I'm literally done. For classes this semester, this is the last thing I'm turning in. <sighs> and then in February, I find out whether I'm in the program. And if they see this video and see how badly I procrastinate, well, I'm a writer, so we're allowed to write. Like, that's the thing. <laughs> but anyway, it always takes me way longer to go through my critiques than I think it will, just because everyone writes, like, a two-page letter, and I forget how long it takes to read all that. So, um, I know what I have to do, though. I know the changes I want to make, and I feel really good about what I have so far. Like, I'm actually really excited about it, and I think that it's really suspenseful and makes a good opening, which is so far from where I came starting the semester when I felt the worst about my beginning and good about my ending and like the middle and stuff. And now I'm like, okay, my beginning is top notch and it's uh, the rest of it that I have to work on. <laughs> All right, I'm going to probably make some tea or something just to kind of like sip on that's warm because it's winter and it's chilly. It's officially winter and it feels a little chilly in here. And I've got my candle going. I drink a lot of water so I have to go to the bathroom. But then we got lots to do fam. We do. So I think I'm going to start first with going over my creative work again. Editing out any typos. I'm like scared to look at the pages I turned into my other class because if I find a typo I'm just going to hate myself because like... He was very adamant that it had to be like publisher ready <laughs> and like I just know I'm gonna find something I just know and so I'm like really terrified to look at it maybe I'm just not gonna look at it <laughs> just like handing in typo written paper to both teachers just cuz oh, it's gonna be the worst feeling but really I haven't talked about my last class oh can I do that really quick can I like procrastinate just a little bit longer so my last on-campus class I don't think I talked about it Oh my god, it was so fun. So, so many people brought wine. I didn't end up making cookies because I was really stressed that day and that night. Like, I was working on my story and I was reading feedback from my professor and from my other classmates and I realized I had a lot more work to do than I thought I did as far as rewriting the beginning that I had written. Um, there were just a lot of key problems, there were a lot of parts that dragged, a lot of things that had to be changed, like key elements that had to be changed that was going to change everything down line. And like, that was like really panicky. <laughs> and all of Thursday, so I found free time to write, like I wrote during lunch, I had free time on the commute there, and I knew I was going to have two hours after work to work on stuff before my class starts. So I end work at four o'clock and I knew like class starts at six. And so the whole day I was so stressed that I was gonna finish in those two hours. And I have never felt that level of stress before. I feel like in college I must have when I had a big test coming or a big presentation, but I hadn't remembered feeling that level of stress in a long time. So my hands were clammy all day, I had like an upset stomach, I had, I want to say I had no appetite, but the, like, I wish I was one of those people when they were stressed, because when I'm stressed, I just eat. So I was like snacking on all the, you know, treats that people brought in for the holidays, and um, yeah. So that was no fun, I felt like I had to remind myself to just breathe constantly, and I did end up finishing in time, I was actually a little, was I early to class? No, I wasn't early but I was like not late. Um, but yeah, we got to class, there was like, 
not joking, like eight bottles of wine. And there's like 14 of us. So there was a lot of wine and everyone's like, we cannot bring any wine out. Like we have to finish this all. And we did. <laughs> that class was so fun. Like we were all saying we wish we brought wine every class. There were some classmates that like had, they must have had like a whole bottle just to themselves. Like people were feeling really good at this party. Um, even our professor, I don't know how many he had. He didn't have a lot, but it was just funny. Um, and I tend to make a fool of myself when I drink just cause like I get really chatty and I didn't want to interrupt people. And like, I just get really self-conscious. Um, it's like the opposite. Like sometimes when people drink, they get like, you know, more outgoing and they feel less self-conscious. I kind of start to get more self-conscious cause I worry I'm making a fool of myself. <laughs> so like, I didn't want to get to that level of like worrying. So I kind of just, I think I had like two glasses, maybe. No, it was more than two. It was like four, I don't know. I did feel pretty good at the end, but it was so fun. And uh, my, our professor did say we were his favorite class, but don't they all say that? But he seemed to like really stress that we were his favorite, so. Oh, and, oh yeah, I presented. That was another reason I was nervous. So I'm normally nervous during my workshop anyway, cause I know everyone's about to like comment on my work. And so that coupled with turning in final work, I was like a wreck. <laughs> but the feedback for my paper or my excerpt that I shared. So this is now, this was chapter two and it was really good. And guys, I was so worried because I thought that chapter two was like garbage just because I had actually written that. That was like one of the first things I wrote. Like I wrote that back in spring of 2017. Yeah, 2017, spring 2017. So, I don't know what that says that like the feedback was phenomenal like oh my god have i gotten worse as a writer <laughs> i did like fix it up so like hopefully that helped but um and i changed where it was so originally it was in chapter one and i moved it to chapter two and i changed the framing of it which i'm gonna go into i think all the details of what changes my draft went through i thought that that would be really helpful and i don't mind talking about that kind of thing since it is like the beginning of my book i don't want to give away a whole bunch just because you know i want you guys to be excited to read it and not know what's going to happen um but i figured it would be kind of interesting at least with the first two chapters to just kind of talk with you guys in a little bit of a general sense what it is i changed how i made that decision to change it how i used the feedback i got um, and just kind of like, I mean, I'm taking writing classes. I am learning so much that I can't even articulate it successfully sometimes, but I figure if I walk through it with you guys and talk about the problems my ha chapter had when I first started in my first draft versus what I did to change it, that would be kind of a cool video to do. So that's something I really want to do soon. And, um... I also want to talk about my plans for next year. So essentially my class, my Tuesday class was amazing and now I'm turning in my last assignment. No big deal. And then I'll be done for the semester and ready for next semester, which should be interesting. I'm excited about next semester because I'm like excited and sad because I'm going to be taking classes. One's a literary class, so it's not creative writing. Um, but I have to take it if I want to be part of the master's program. And the other is writing, but it's suspense writing, which I found out the assignment for it. We have to do a short story. So I can't exactly work on my novel for the class. So I won't be getting feedback on my novel works, which I'll still be working on that. Like, do not get me wrong, but I won't be able to turn in. I thought like, is there any chapter I can make kind of like a short story that I can turn in? But uh, I think that's cheating. I'm not cheating, but I just don't. I don't know if that would be productive. Um, so I'm probably just going to do like a really, something totally different and just practice the craft of writing suspensefully and not just like getting feedback specifically on my short story. I've talked way too long. I've procrastinated. Hmm. My book has changed a lot. And as I mentioned in my last author's journal video, my laptop just went to sleep. <laughs> I've decided to make it a series or at least two books maybe more i don't know um and not just a solo book so i don't know the ending as well as i used to um but i can kind of just give a general ending i guess 
of where I plan to leave it, but I just don't know how it's gonna connect yet. Like I know what I want to happen at the end, and I just don't know how it's gonna get there, which I think is everyone's first drafting problem. <laughs> so I guess I'm first drafting again, kind of. I don't know, guys. Because the problem, the way the book's gonna end on the first book has nothing, like it's not part of the book right now. It's not part of my first draft, so it's a whole new thing. Because I introduced a whole new element. Oh God, what did I do? But it's better, guys, it's better. Okay. I'm officially sawing. I'm starting to look crazy, which means I'm getting tired, which means I have got to get to work now. Okay, stop distracting me, guys. Jeez. That is the final word count of my portfolio for the class. Yeah, you're so late. Whoa, I'm shiny. <laughs> Zach just asked if he should leave because I turned on the camera and I said yes. And he's not leaving, it's very rude. I'm what? Finishing your dinner. True, he is cooking for me, so I'll let it go. I'll just talk to myself in here. Okay. So I realized looking back at my clips, woo, from um, the end of the semester, so like three weeks ago. No, it wasn't that long. Two weeks ago? When did we end? Um, that I didn't close my entry for the week series whatever it's called um so i thought i would just do a really quick closing because we only have like three and a half hours left in 2018 and i thought it'd be kind of weird to close in 2019 when i started in like november no it's december i don't know so i finished turning in my final work it was very stressful because i waited way too last minute uh, i think i ended at like 2 or 3 a.m. I don't know when I last sent it in. Um, I actually felt pretty good about my query and synopsis. I, they were a lot harder. Well, no, actually they were about as hard as I imagined. I knew they were gonna be really hard to do. I'm getting a phone call. Oh no, one of my, my thing's listening to me. And now it's listening to what I'm saying. I must have said something that sounded like Bigsby. <laughs> Are you hearing me, Zach? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's now Googling what I just said. What did it come up with? Uh-oh, Skynet's real. I said writing, and it came up with Writing Center. It Googled Writing Centers in Boston for me. Thank you, Bigsby. <laughs> <laughs> it heard how bad I procrastinated. It was like, girl, you need some work. Anyway, shh, phone, calm down. Um, I completely forgot what I was saying. I guess I can look at my phone, and it will tell me what I just said. <laughs> but, so... I knew it was gonna be hard and it was about as hard as I pictured. It caused me to really think about how I want my book to end because um, I'll go into this on my query letter and synopsis video that I plan on doing later in 2019. Um, but basically in the synopsis, you have to say how your story is going to end. So I was kind of forced to come up with an ending, even though I know I can change it and I probably will change a lot of it when I actually go to send it off. But it kind of forced me to really just come up with something and I actually feel pretty good about what I wrote and my query letter I thought was pretty concrete there was I'm a little unsure about how much I mentioned some of the characters and my synopsis I think I have too many going but now I'm getting into details about it and I'll talk about it later so I finished all that I finished revising my creative work and Definitely what I turned into my last class was way better than what I turned into my first class because I realized my biggest fear, I had typos in my other class final portfolio and I do it to myself and if there's one thing I've learned with that though is when I go to submit my final draft to a potential agent, I am going to read through it at least like three times with a fine tooth comb because I will miss something and I did miss something with this just with a second read through. So it's discouraging but I guess a good lesson to learn at least just in a class before I make the mistake in the real world. So I've already gotten a grade back for my young adult middle grades. I got an A, yay! But I'm still waiting on my grade for my writing the novel class. I'm kind of nervous about that one because that's the one that I have typos that I know of in and he was pretty adamant about us not having typos so I'm really scared um, but he also made a comment that none of us had to worry so I don't know maybe he was just trying to scare us I don't know guys I'm like kind of nervous so 
if I end up failing that class, I'm not gonna tell you guys, so you'll never really know the truth. <laughs> what else do I wanna say? This is why I don't like you listening, Zach, because I like pause awkwardly. Because <laughs> I have to think what I'm gonna say. I get the unedited version? Yeah, I. that's why like, I know that you watch my videos, but you see my edited version, which makes me sound like... Eloquent, concise. Yeah, see, I can't even come up with those words. Yeah, concise. But in real life, I just pause all the time. <sighs> and I repeat things, because I don't know what I'm saying. So overall, I feel like this semester went well. I, afterwards, haven't... See, I have to start over now, it's embarrassing. <laughs> um, after I submitted my final drafts of everything, my final portfolios, I, like, became a zombie to the world. I became a slug in the most extreme sense I've ever been in. I did shower every day this week. That is a huge accomplishment. So I wasn't too sluggy, but oh my gosh, this Christmas break, Zach and I have the whole week and a half off and we've done nothing. Like we went and visited family the first half. Um, you can come in and eat your dinner, by the way. <laughs> He's standing in the kitchen eating a taco. <laughs> But the second half of this week, we have done nothing, nothing. I cleaned half of the bedroom and then stopped, and that was my accomplishment for yesterday. Today, I went for a run. That was pretty exciting, and I refilmed a video. I've done little things here and there, but I'm excited. Tomorrow is my last day off. Zach has the rest of the week off because he's spoiled and has all this vacation time. But I have to go back to work on Wednesday, back to the real world, so... Tomorrow is my last big day and I'm hoping to get a lot of cleaning done because my goal was to clean all this week and that just didn't happen. So definitely a refresher after the crazy semester that we had. And then I have to prep myself for next semester, which starts, that's a good question, end of January? I don't really know. I'll have to look that up. But my mind feels refreshed. I feel ready to jump in again and I'm excited for the new year. So as for what I'm reading right now, I haven't read much these last couple weeks. As I said, I have done nothing productive. Um, but what I currently have re that, well, what is currently on my reading on Goodreads is Messenger by Lois Lowry. It's the third book in the Giver series. For those of you who didn't know, it is a series, not just a standalone, so you're welcome half of the world who probably didn't know that. I didn't know that. Uh, and if you've ever been curious what happens to Jonas at the end of The Giver, it is answered in the series. So I'm on the third one. It's not as good as the second one. I really liked the second one as well as the first one, obviously. Um, the third one is really short. I have the audiobook and it's... I haven't even finished it, but it was only a few hours long, whereas the other ones were much longer, so I'm curious how it's gonna be. According to Goodreads, a lot of people weren't too happy with the third one, but I don't know. I like it so far. It is kind of weird though. Just, just read it and you'll see what I mean. Okay, I'm gonna go eat my taco and enjoy the rest of 2018. Happy New Year, everybody. By the time you watch this, it's already 2019. You're in the future, that's so exciting. I hope it's amazing. Send me some lottery ticket numbers. Come on. Or don't, that's fine. Zach didn't even laugh at my joke. Are you listening? Sorry, what? <clears throat> okay, he says he didn't hear me, but he probably just doesn't think I'm funny, so he didn't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I agree with that. Oh, okay, sure. Which, fun fact before I go, just because it cracked me up at our Christmas party at work. No, yeah, it was around that time. I said something to my boss. I, I It was a stupid joke, too. We were setting up decorations for a Christmas party and the song Blue Christmas was playing on the radio and it started to skip. And I turned to my boss and said, I guess it really is a blue Christmas. Like, stupid. And she laughed really hard. She goes, Haley, that was funny. As if I've never been funny before. I've been working there for like a year and it was stupid. And I don't know if she was just trying to make me feel better. I didn't mean it like it's an actual funny thing. I was just like saying stuff. I don't even know, but. I didn't know whether to laugh or be offended that that was like the only time she's ever thought I was funny, I guess. <laughs> so my goal for this year is for her to laugh one more time so I can just get in that new, I don't know. 
I don't know what I'm saying. I haven't talked in a long time. We've been garbage people for the last like week, so this is new for me. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Happy brand new year, everybody. New Year's Day, whenever I upload this, I don't know. And I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season too, and I'll see you in my next video, bye.